What's Gucci, everybody? It's AJ back here again, and today I want to talk about two, three, four trees. Now, in another video that I, I guess I'll add this video to a, this playlist, I talked about binary trees and binary search trees. And binary trees, as you know, are pretty simple in that they allow you to create nodes that um, are relative inserted inserted into the order relative to their nodes binary search trees not binary trees my bad and binary trees are very good because they're big o of log n time which is very efficient but there was one big problem with binary trees that i have not gotten to really talk about in the other videos and that is that a binary tree can become unbalanced and instead of log n time it can be linear time or big O of n time and I didn't know this until I learned about it but essentially there is a lot to be done about how to deal with this concept and what I mean by a binary tree can uh, deteriorate to log n time in terms of adding deleting and finding a node let's say I have a binary tree and I have 12 as my root and then I add 13 so that's going to go to the right of that and then I add 14 and then I add 17 and then let me scooch it down here and then I add 20 now as you can see here if I wanted if I wanted to find a node if I wanted to find 14 it would take three operations or the um, height of the tree I would have to go it would be I would keep have to going I would have to go from 12 to 13 to 14 so it would be a linear operation I wouldn't be I wouldn't be halving my choices which would be equivalent to log n in a binary tree because the binary tree is not perfect it, it does not have nodes over here and down here and down here along with nodes going down here oh oops I just need one there and this this is a big problem because I need the tree if I want, I don't want the tree to deteriorate to being log in time or let there be a huge um, chain basically and deteriorate. So this is essentially, as you can see, a linked list and not a binary tree. And we don't want that. Um, one thing I will, one example I can think of a binary tree going really bad. It's let's say you made a binary tree out of all the Facebook accounts and you organize them all by age. Well, a predominant amount of people, and I'm not sure on this, but I'm guessing, and I think you'll agree with me, a predominant amount of people on Facebook are, are the younger generation, or would have a much younger age, or, you know, from the, I would say, the high school to college. Um, if you've seen the movie Facebook, it started out as a college social network. And so if I were to make a binary tree of the billions of accounts, I would probably have a lot of left domination when I, because there's a lot of, you know, 12s and, well, not 12s, like, 19s and things like that on the left side as opposed to older ages like adults and um, grandparents now that's changing and now kind of everyone's doing Facebook but I just wanted to think of an example and so the 234 tree now I finally get to talk about what I'm teaching you guys is a way of a tree is a way to balance this tree it's a tree that makes sure that as you add find and remove things the tree balances itself as you do those things so it doesn't go back to linear time. It, it stays constant at log n time, or so it, it tries its best to. And what is a 234 tree? Well, a 234 tree means that it can have two, three, or four children except for leaves. Maybe I should, I'll type this down. I'll start type, typing after I write this out except for leaves and what this means is that unlike a binary tree you can only have zero one or two children but in a two four three tree you can have two you can only have two three or four you can't have one or zero and leaves are the last the last nodes the bottom most nodes in the two three four tree there's also another rule let me type this out and that is each node can can store one, two, or three entries. And what this means is that entries are different from nodes. So a node, a set, a node on its own can contain 
three entries. So that would be like if a, no a node can possibly contain 9, 12, and 15, that would be a node. But that's still one node. And every node can have two, three, or four children. In fact, the number of children, let me write this down too, the number of children is equal to the entries plus one or it's zero if it's if it's at the end now let me show you an example of a tree here let me make these a little bit bigger because i know you guys don't like that um so you guys can see for all you kiddos at home and let me show you guys an example of following these rules Microsoft OneNote sometimes is is sometimes frustrating. So right now I'm going to draw the root node. Now the root node is going to have three entries. Now as I'm going to show you, I'm going to make it 20, 40, and 50. Um, one thing now, as you notice, this node has three entries, and what that means is it must have four children. Now one way to think about the children is that you need a node to represent each um, kind of cutoff in the 2, 3, 4 tree. And what I mean by that is that, so like a binary tree, when you have a binary tree, you have a value, which is a parent, and then you have a right node, which exam which is everything greater than the parent node, greater than 12, and you have a left node, which is everything that's less than 12. Well, in a 2, 3, 4 tree, you kind of do the same thing, but you also need, you just need more values to rep more nodes to represent the greater than and less than. For instance, I'm going to have a node to the right of 50, which represents everything that's greater than 50. And it's going to be, a, it's going to have two entries, 70 and 79. Now remember, it, I only, I just need the entries plus one nodes. So the nodes don't need a specific amount of entries they I just know that I need to put four nodes so I need so I need to represent the value that's greater than 50 with a node I need to represent the value that's between 40 and 50 with a node and I'll just make it one node which is 43 and I need to represent the value between 20 and 40 which would be yeah 20 to 30 with 32 and I need to re represent a value that's less than 20 with 14 so as you can see here so a question I asked you guys is, okay, how many nodes is 14 supposed to have? And the entry is plus one, right? So two, same thing for this one, two, same thing for this one, two. Um, this node right here is going to have three um, nodes because it has two entries. Uh, I want that to go away and not improve my performance. And so I'll just show you my example here. Um, this is a 79. I should make that more clear. And here we go. I got an 81. I'm going to have an 81 that's greater than 79. I'm going to have something between these nodes. That's 74. And I'm going to have a three big three node here. I'll put that all the way down here just to make it easier to write. And it's going to be 57, 62, and 65. And here we go. In 43, I'm going to have 47. So this is kind of like a binary tree because it just will have two nodes, 47. And then it'll have something less than 43, 41. And then this 32 node will have something greater than 32. We'll call it 33. And then this node, and then it will also have a 25. And we'll make this 18. I'll make this 10. Now, as you can see, this fits the rules I described where every node has two, three, or four children except for the leaves. The leaves are at the bottom here, and each node has one, two, or three entries, but it is possible for a node to have zero entries as well. If it's, it is possible to have zero entries because let's say I just didn't have to add 41, then I would have just kind of a blank node or I would just have a blank node that doesn't store any entries, but it would have to be there to represent the chain of what of something that is greater than 40, but less than 43. So, yeah, so this is an example of a 2, 3, 4 tree. Now, I'm, I, in my next video, I'm going to explain how to find, add, and delete into a 2, 3, 4 tree, and it is fairly complicated. There's some fairly good rules that make sure that, um, for instance, you may have to get certain siblings or parents to adjust 
so that your um, tree can balance and that the you can never somehow it won't deteriorate to a list or something to that effect of like a binary tree can. Well, guys, I hope you all enjoyed this video and have a great day.